40, have you tried the GNC award-winning innovation designed to invigorate your body and increase your libido? If you're experiencing lower sex drive, general sluggishness, and decreased performance, you need Nugenix. Nugenix is a powerful man-boosting innovation. For 2013, it won GNC's Innovative Product of the Year and was also named GNC's number one selling men's vitality product. For a limited time, you're going to... Okay, enough is enough. Make it stop. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most unregulated industries on all the planet is the advertisement agency as well as the fitness industry. And you can go take this Nugenics all you want. It is nothing more than a sugar pill, a pill that's going to make you think it's actually doing something and it's not doing anything. If you want to figure out some more of these diet and fitness myths, we're debunking a bunch of them in this video. And if you enjoy the content on my channel or if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be down with the Life Gain Squad every time I drop a new video. And we're going to help you make those fitness life gains and avoid the myths of the fitness and advertising industry that just rob your pocket and rob you of your gains. Let's go. The backdrop you see is a back workout I did with the big homie Skeet the Barber. He cuts my hair. He got me into the beard gang. So if you're looking for a good back workout, this is going to be a good one you can try as we debunk these myths. And first and foremost, I just want to say that when I was really, really heavy, I fell victim to all the myths we're going to talk about. And it stifled my growth and my progression for a long time because... I will make these excuses up for these myths in my brain and sometimes I wouldn't work out if I didn't do things in the order I had learned you're supposed to do it. So that's why I felt like this video is important. And let's go ahead and talk about these myths, no specific order. Uh, myth number one, longer workouts will give more results. That is just not true. More intense bouts would give you greater fat loss because you don't want to lose muscle and if you start going for something over an hour and longer you're going to start e eroding your muscle so if you want to put your body in the best position to burn fat you do as much intensity as you can within about a 20 25 minute window then after that if you want to walk it out and cool down you can do that but longer workouts does not equal fat loss or a greater percentage of weight loss. As a matter of fact, it can wind up hurting you in the long run. Number two, myth. You cannot spot check weight loss. Ladies and gentlemen, it burns me up. And a lot of the information I'm giving is for people that are just getting off the couch. You see those same people come to the gym, they'll do like an hour of cardio, and then they'll go and do the ab machine, thinking that that's going to get rid of their stomach. You don't get rid of your stomach like that. And typically on mostly all human beings, the stomach is the last to go. You know, your genetics determine what areas of your body is going to, for the most part, lose fat in a given amount of time. You can't really spot check that. What you do is you hit all the muscles with as much intensity as you possibly can, get on a good diet and see what happens from that point. That's about all you can do. And number three, it's all about the scale. It is not all about the scale. We all fall into that where we want to see results on the scale. And those results can sometimes just be water weight you're losing. It can be muscle mass you're losing. And what you want to happen on that scale is fat loss. So you want your body's composition to change. And by saying that, if you're doing everything correct in your diet and your training and the scale's going really, really slow, Pay attention to how your clothes fit because a pound of muscle compared to a pound of fat is two totally different animals. Muscle is very, very dense, doesn't take up much space. Fat is rangy and takes up a lot of space. So as long as you're noticing inches are being lost, clothes are feeling a whole lot more looser, then you are doing what you need to do and you just stick with it and give it time. Here's a big one. The next one we're talking about is I must have low carbs or no carbs in order to lose weight. 
that is a big myth because a lot of people aren't educated on what's a good carb, what's a bad carb, and what's gonna be effective for you to eat and all that. So you've got a set of good carbs that include veggies, um, you know, your oats, your blueberries, strawberries, stuff like that that doesn't spike your insulin that much. Then you've got all the bad carbs and the bad foods from cake to donuts, ice cream, all that stuff that basically gives you empty calories, spikes your insulin really, really high. You're feeling hungry again, you're tired, and then you're craving all this stuff all over again that's bad for you in the first place. And so, you know, you can have a diet that gives you all the carbs you need if you're eating the right healthy carbs. And healthy carbs are gonna make you feel full, they're gonna give you sustained energy, and then you'll feel that feeling of vitality that you might have not been having when you've been eating all the junk. So guys, don't fall for that one. That is one that gets a lot of us. The next one is one of my biggest ones because I thought I needed this, and that is you must have supplements to make fitness and weight loss gains like that bullshit new genus that is an absolute lie you don't need anything but a gym hitting some weights doing some cardio you don't need anything from the fitness center until you start getting specific in certain goals you're trying to reach but for initial weight loss zone in on your diet get your diet correct get that fixed hit the gym you will lose weight, you will start to feel great, and you do not need any of these bull job products that you see on the marketplace. It is all out there to suck you of your money, and you don't have to do that. I lost a lot of my weight very early on without doing any of that. I didn't do protein shakes, I didn't do pre-workouts, I didn't do none of that. It was just grilled food, the carbs I needed to have, and that's it. Moving right along, you cannot eat before you go to bed. That's another myth. Your calories overall throughout the whole day is how you weigh this thing on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you're monitoring your calories and your carbs and you're just now getting off the couch, you're still gonna lose weight if you have set your carbs low, your calories and carbs fixed in a range that's best for you. You will still lose weight. So don't worry about that myth. Now, when you start wanting to do when you start getting really, really fit and wanting to do competitions and stuff like that, at that point in time is when you kind of got to monitor some of those other modalities. But for you just getting off the couch or maintaining or just starting to get fit, you do not have to worry about when you eat. You need to make sure that you're sticking within your macronutrients that are helping you meet your goals, whether that's weight loss, maintaining, or gaining. Last but definitely not least, is you have to have a set time in which you go to the gym. That is a myth. Now I will say optimally, probably the best time to work out would be when you awaken, but that's not something that should keep you mentally from going to the gym. And it kept me from going to the gym oftentimes because I felt like if I don't do my cardio in the morning, I ruin the day, why even go to the gym? That is just a myth, debunk it. Like a, the same way I just said with your calories and eating, the, your fitness training is about the same. As long as you get it in, as long as you get that deficit, as long as you hit those muscles, create the trauma that the muscles put on the body, get that metabolistic burn from the muscles, you are going to do just fine on your initial fitness goals. And so those are my seven myths that I want people to let go of, and I'll recap them for you. Longer workouts will give you more results. That's a myth. You can spot check weight loss. That's a myth. It's all about the number on the scale. That's a myth. You can't eat carbs to lose weight. That's a myth. You must have dietary supplements to get fit. Another myth. Can't eat before bed. Another myth. And you must have a set time when you go train. The last myth. And if you guys are still looking for a coach that can help you lose that weight, help you get fit, someone that's going to be there and stick with you, your boy is here for you. Hit me up at www.facebook.com forward slash lifegainz07. 
You can get one-on-one -on -one meal coaching. You can get a meal plan for me. I don't charge $400 for a meal plan, but I do my meal plans based on you, meaning I'm not just going to send you a meal plan. I need to talk to you to know your behaviors so I can help put you on a good eating habit to help you reach your goals. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. And look at my barber. Ain't he funny as hell? Check me out. You looking for that coach? And I'll see what I can do to help you get those gains. And until the next sexy as hell video, I'll see you. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Gains.